Welcome to a signature tutorial from PH Studios. This is the first video tutorial on signatures we have done in a long time. We have a bunch of image tutorials you can go to the website and check out, but we have not done a video tutorial in about two years or so. So I might be a bit rusty when dealing with signature tutorials on videos because I'm mostly a XNA video maker. So I entered this signature. This is what we'll be creating in the video. This is for a entry on a SIG of the Week competition on the website. And we'll be learning how to create this and I'll show you some of the effects I did. But first, before we go into that, the render I used is from a guy called Ortix from GameRenders.com and you can go there and just search for Anime Chick with Gun and you can get the render there. And all credit goes to him for the render. Okay. So, I opened the render in a new window. If you're using CS4 and not sure how to use it, do that. Uh, it starts off as a tab, so I just drag, click, hold, and then drag outside of the tab. And it'll open it in a new window. And we do it that way, so we can drag it into a new document. So go to File New, or Control N on Windows, Command N on Mac, and we'll get a new document. And let's call this Anime Tutorial. And width is 400, height is 145, resolution is 72, and all this basic stuff. And I actually named it a signature preset. If you're not sure how to do that, you fill in what you want and what you'll be using for every signature and just do save preset and name it whatever you want. And click OK. And then OK. So now I have a new document. So first, before you drag the render in, we need to double click the background. So we'll unlock it and let's just name it BG. So we go to the window grab our render window click hold so you can drag it but drag it into a new document once that is there we need to save this render because we want to save the original state in case we want to add additional effects to it and drag it below the background so we will not see it so I want to duplicate this, the original render, and drag it above the background. Let's just call it render. This is what we will actually be seeing on the signature itself. So that's way too big for a signature. So let's resize it. Pick a good location. And rotate it a bit. And resize it a bit more. A bit more. Eh, that's too small. Okay, so just play around with that and pick the right location to what fits your style. Then we can erase this render by change the opacity of the eraser. Okay. So I have a render in our SIG, but the background does not really fit the render, so we need to apply some, uh, I like to apply a gradient, but you can apply different effects if you want. Gradient is just the easiest way. Now you, you start off with a black and white on your color palette. And we want to change the black part to a dark part of the signature and a light part to a light part of your signature. And now grab the gradient tool. I went from dark to light and just drag from the left to the right. And that fits our sig nicely, or our render nicely. Well, we need to do additional steps to make the background stand out more than just a boring gradient. So let's add a new layer, 
I did Control Alt Shift N or Command Alt Shift N to create a new layer. And I'm just going to name it BG Effects. Now, for what I did for the signature, I just went to our gradient options and went from foreground to transparent. And our foreground is set to the dark, kind of purple to pink in between that. So it went from dark to transparent. So we want to focus on the light area. And let's make that a bit darker in some places. Can just play around with that and then we press X to transfer it to the light as a foreground to transparent and do the same thing on the right left side. So just play around with that until I get a nice effect. I'm just going to take that another. Okay. So that looks pretty good, but we're not finished yet, so it doesn't really interest us much for what it looks like. Now, I'm going to add additional steps to make the background stand out more. What I did was create a new layer and set the reset the colors to black and white. Now I'm gonna go to filter, render, clouds, and I'm gonna set that to soft light and a low to middle opacity. Whatever you think looks good, go with. So I'm going to leave it about there, 61% opacity on soft light. Now I added a bit of wavy effects. And what I did here is duplicated the render twice. Moved them both underneath the original render. And I named it render wave uh, 1. Render wave two. All right. So what I did here is I increased our render size on both the render waves, but the render wave two needs to be larger. And what I did with both of these is desaturated them. Command Shift U or Control Shift U, or you can just go to Image Desaturate. Somewhere in there, uh, Adjustments Desaturate, and you can do it that way. So I did Wave Effects, which is desaturation, and I set it to Soft Light so it doesn't stand out as much as it does, and just Filter Distort Wave Ripple, not Wave and pick a nice amount now that looks okay but it's too much connected to the render so what we need to do is control click or command click the thumbnail of our layer let's just go to select modify contract and pick a nice pixel you want to contract it to I like to do three and just delete from there now we have a nice little wavy line that we can sort of move around if we want and make it a bit more connected to our render. And let's lower the opacity so it doesn't